Coin Quester back with you. Today, I have something a little different. You say, well, let's uh, roll coins, Coin Quester. Why is it different? Well, it's short. And it's a dollar. A dollar of nickels. From Federal Savings Bank. Brown paper wrapped. And guess what's in it? You got it. It's a roll of buffalo nickels. What's this one? This one's in 1927. What's on the other end? The reverse with a D-mint mark. So I've been debating for a few days now. Well, longer than that because I've been waiting for it to come. But I finally got them and I've been debating. Do I keep it like this? And just hang on to it? Because it's old and they'll never be replaced? Or do I crack them open? And let's see what we can find. I've decided I'm going to crack it open right here with you. So let's do this. Let's see if we can find anything good. And if not, I still love me some buffalo nickels. I'm trying to get it open without hurting the buffalo nickels any more than what they are. Obviously, they're all circulated. There we go. Push them out here. There we go. It's empty. Let's see what we got. So there's the 1927 under we talked about. Tell if it's got a mint mark there or not. Doesn't look like it. Maybe an old one. I'll have to look under the scope later on. No, no mint mark. Um, here's another reverse. No mint mark on that one. Let's see what date it is. Looks like a 34 or a 39. Not quite sure. I'll have to look at that one under the scope. There's another 27. Excellent. Does that have a mint mark? No mint mark on that one as well. That looks like another 27. No mint mark. There's a 29. No mint mark, so that's Philadelphia also. Is that a 20? 1920. I'm definitely going to be looking through my Buffalo Nickel book to see if I have any new dates or upgrades. And I'll definitely show you at the end what changes I have in my book. So that's a 1920, you know, mint mark, so that's Philadelphia. There's a Another Philadelphia behind it. Let's see the year. 1935. I've got a shadow here. 
I don't know if I can get rid of this shadow. That's better. No mint mark there. Can't see a date on that one. I'll have to put it under my scope and see if I can tell what that is. I'll do that later. There's a date there. I'm having a hard time seeing it. I'll have to scope that one too. No mint mark. No mint mark on that one. And there's a runaway. 1923. And I've grabbed the runaway here. No mint mark on that one. That's a 25. Looks like a 1925. I'll scope that and make sure that's what it is. I think that it is. That looks like another 1920. Philadelphia. There's a bent mark. That might be the one that was the ender. I'm not sure. Denver. 1928 Denver. There's another 1920. Philadelphia. Another Philadelphia. Looks like possibly a 28. I think that's a 28. Another Philly. 29 maybe. I'll have to scope that one too. Philly is 1929. There's another mint mark. That's in Denver. 1924. 1924, Denver. 5.3 million made of that one. Take that one any day. Well, I'll take them all any day, but I like that 24 Denver. Philadelphia. 1924 Philly. And 1924 Denver. How about that? And what we got here? Last but not least. 19... 36 out of Denver. All right, so that's the whole roll. I'll bring you back and uh, we'll do a wrap up. Okay, so I'm back with the wrap up. So, of that $1 roll of Buffalo Nickels, I ended up having 14 different date and mint marks. Not too bad. I had Three that were slight upgrades, so I changed those out in my album. I had another upgrade that was better than a slight because this is an ugly, ugly Nicodate that was in my album and is no longer. That was a 1925 Nicodate, so now I have an actual readable 1925 without Nicodate. Love that. This one here is a reverse because, I don't know if you can see it here, I thought it was a D mint mark, but it's actually an S. I put it under my scope, and it's definitely S. Love my S mint marks. But this one's even better. 
1928, which is fill in the spot in my book. So there it is. Still a lot of holes, but one more filled. Gotta love it. So if you enjoyed this buffalo nickel hunt, give me a thumbs up down below. Share with your friends. Subscribe. Twin Quest, you're out.